Yo, what's up, everyone? Sorry. Just doing the, the old tweet thing. Give me a second. What's up, everyone? Let me fly into Europa while I get this tweeted out. Uh... Boom. 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 Yeah. How is everyone doing? I was going to do another Outrider stream, but, um... The servers have been real bad today, and they were tweeting about it. It doesn't. It does not look like the servers are going to cooperate for a little bit. Uh, no trial, dude. I did trials last night, and oh, let me turn that off. I did trials last night, and like, I'm just, I'm just not feeling it, man. I've got, I already have the best shotgun you can get since it doesn't have quick draw anymore, and uh, there's really no, there's really no need for me to uh, do that anymore. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll do my one trials a week. My one flawless probably won't bother streaming it. Uh, until, like, if there's another messenger week or another igneous hammer week, then I'll then I'll farm it. Especially if they do, like, a good weapon of three wins. But let me, let me see. Surely the population can't be that high this week, right? Because the, the reward's kind of ass. For... Uh... Nearly 200,000 already, actually. Fuck. Never mind. I guess it's actually a very high volume week. I did not see that coming at all. Got that cactus drip. No, actually, this is my logo. Cactus stole it. Huh? Yeah, I I did a couple... Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Outriders. And, uh, yeah, the my only complaint... My only complaint, the only one I have is that the... I just randomly crash all the time. On every ten minutes, I'll, I'll it'll crash me back to. Uh, it'll uh, it'll crash me back to the start screen, and I'm just not having it. It's it's one of those. I'm having a lot of fun. The game is is incredible. Like I I just wanna I just want it to be known. I enjoy. Okay, well that's a good start. <laughs> uh, I enjoy Outriders a lot. I, I'm level twenty. Almost world tier A, I think. Uh, and, and, you know, I've been playing a lot. Even despite the crashes, I've been playing a lot. Um, and I, I plan on continuing to play a lot. Oh, shit. I forgot. I thought I was using uh, guillotine. Uh, I will continue to play a lot. For sure. On stream, I have a couple videos I want to make. Like, I, I want to cover this game quite a bit. Um, I need to switch my, my binds real quick. Fuck but uh it's it's really hard to get super motivated about fuck me can i miss any more shots please it's really difficult to get motivated about streaming it when all right when uh the game crashes every 10 minutes that really takes the like the momentum out of it which kind of sucks let's change that thoughts on charles swords with chain reaction uh i've heard it's pretty good i don't know if i've actually personally used it but i've heard it is excellent that combo. Like, bruh, this is rigged. Bruh, this entire... The entire system's rigged. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, there you go. Imagine having 20-20 Ophidians. Dude, oh, yeah. You want Trials? Bruh, fuck it. Not playing Trials. Uh, I played just mostly with my friends. Dunlin, Evade. Couple other people you guys have all seen them on stream i don't i don't really play sometimes with coops and chemo my pve buds but uh i don't i do not get out and about in the trial dude this is fucked look at that oh my uh hmm i think i have to try to get him to go into his thing and then stun him oh where the fuck do you go oh Okay. Now. Easy. Okay. 
Have you gotten the Sparrow and ship already from Charles, or do just really don't? Uh, so I do want them. I do definitely care, but rewards aren't going to be refreshed for a year, right? So I, I've got plenty of time. Doing a casual flawless or so, and plus, like I said, you know, I still have to farm a, a God Roll Adept Igneous and Messenger. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not like done with trials. I'm just taking like a, you know, I've gone flawless like 50 times this season. Like no shit. Like, almost half of my Flawlesses all time have been this season alone. Um, uh, just because I've been... Between the first week getting gilded first week, won the first in the world, uh, I played an insane amount then. And then, you know, farming out the Igneous on the Igneous week. I think Igneous week I went ten times alone. And then Messenger week and then just fucking just sending it. I think I have something like 40... I can check, but... I'm just really burnt out. Not burnt out. It's just I've gotten everything. I don't need anything else. I like I could. I I don't find trials boring. I guess burnt out is is not a great uh, way to say it. Um, bruh. But I just uh, I don't really need. Yeah, the cosmetics would be really nice, but I'm not gonna farm 50 million times a week for a chance at a cosmetic. I'm probably not gonna get. Uh, 100, so I have 113 ever, and my seasonal is 43. So, a, a solid third, more than a third of my runs, uh, ha, uh, flawless ever have been in the past what, like five weeks? Like I've I've been grinding, dude. But how many weeks has the season been out? I guess it's like six. Oh, nice. Hogs. Oh. Oh, shit. Where the fuck did you come from, bud? Oh, it's gonna kill me. Oh. Holy. I'll get this down. I could probably... I have a well and a sword for the boss. I could probably get this down to like six minute runs. Is there a solar bow? And you, I guess the vow, did, did that get retired? Because I think solar is the only shield type in this entire shru- Uh, fuck. Okay, don't know how I just hunter jumped, but that's fine. Oh wait, oh my god, I'm such a- Oh my, fuck. When you just completely forget how this game works. Oh, the stag, that's right. Hello? Oh, the stag got retired too, though, right? The last wish one. I don't know if I have an updated last wish one. I honestly don't know if I've ran the last wish since they updated the loot. Uh, I could check. So the problem with TQs is if I run that, I can't run... You know what? I might do that. Because Lament's awesome, but I guess Guillotine would work for the boss just as well, probably. Let's see how... Let's see how this goes. And then I might flop, uh... I might flop for Guillotine. Oh, bruh. I don't like at all what's going on here. Oh. Right, fair enough. More explodey boys. Uh, can Xeno work for the master? I'm sure you can make it work. I like having a sword so I can just like melt the boss. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I need to start conserving sword ammo though. I was being real dumb with it. Seven minute run? I Because I should melt this guy on spawn, I, I would think.
So right now I'm running 10 and 9s, and this is 10 and 8s. Oh, fuck. They're literally worse. <laughs> Shit. All right. Damn, I was like, what? We got him? That sucks. All right, all right, all right. Ridley, how do you know those numbers off the top of your head? What the hell? Did you look that up, or did, were you just like... I think I, I'll take the reduced DPS, though. I'm not too worried about it. You want to die? Oh, shit. Uh, well, how about you don't, son? <laughs> you, you got this? Nah, how you doing, Junior? What, uh... What can we assist you with? Oh, what if we use the Solar Scar instead? Because that's solar. Uh, here, let's try this. What the fuck is happening here? Oh, I have two solar scars. Oh, this is actually excellent because I need infusion fodder. Hey, guys, can you, like, fuck off? Who is this? What's happening here? I'm, like, trying to manage my inventory, you nerd necks. He's... Dude, rude? <laughs> Do you guys ever just, like, fuck... Okay, what is this roll? Uh, Enduring Guard, Hungry Edge, and that's, a uh, What is this? Tra energy Transfer, Vorpal? All right, that's ass. Getting rid of that one. Ran into the worst cheater ever. They spawned with Super this week. I've been running into hella cheaters. Uh, how's the farm going? We just did our first one, and we actually got the, exo the exotic we wanted on the first one, but it was ass. So. Uh, I'm doing all right. Okay, what's my light with this? I should be... Yeah, okay. Here we go. Is it bad that I still use a pair of Legacy Ophidians just because it dropped with enhanced GL loader and special ammo font? Dude, whatever, man. I need to update. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is it edit com? Edit com specs. And this is actually a... Uh, 3090 RTX. Ah, oh, bruh. Okay, whatever. I'll edit it later. Do you like carn scenes? They're all right. I don't really use them a lot. Actually, I can't remember the last time I used them. They're all right. Dude, just realized this is like running up my neck. I feel like I'm wearing turtleneck. Um, yeah, carn scenes aren't bad or anything. I know like uh, MTash really likes carn scenes or carn steins. I guess we say we don't say Frankenstein. We say Frankenstein. So I imagine it's uh, it's carn steen. Oh wait, fuck. No, carn steins. Oh uh, hello. Oh is he? Yo, what's up, Pikachu? Grinding's going really well. Just, uh, you know, finna vibing. This Lost Sector is one of the easier ones. I think the only... I think the only easier one is on the EDZ, the Rocket Yard one. I don't know the name of it. That guy doesn't look like he's covered, but he totally is. I'm being, I'm being lied to. Here, let me take care of this nerd neck. Is solar burn the uh is solar burn the modifier? Because that would actually be super hot right now. I'm not gonna lie, bruh. I don't know, I really don't know what I'm gonna do about that guy. Oh uh how good are the gauntlets you're trying to grind for? Ophidians? They are probably... What would you guys say? Like, if... Especially if you aren't... If you run Warlock, they are probably the best Warlock Crucible super. Oh, he didn't gain any health back. Okay. Thank you. Uh, or, sorry, not super. Uh, exotic. They just... Because they max out your handling. It's like max handling, max reload, and better melee range. They're actually kind of stupid broken. Maybe not broken, but they're like stupid powerful. Oh shit, okay, cool. There you go, yeah, I might be switching to Solas then, because then I could take care of the... the fly boys, and I, I wouldn't have to worry at all, actually, which would be huge. It's too bad there's not a bow that can spawn Warmind cells. Oh shit, what am I doing? Um... 
or like you know like a seraph bow like i know technically this one can kind of spawn war mine cells but that's not really what i mean he could spawn his yep Okay, I'll take that. <clears throat> I thought handling didn't matter in PC land. Stability doesn't matter in PC land. Handling is arguably the most important stat on PC. Uh, it is it is top three, if not the most important. I think the argument could definitely be made. Stability doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is master. Yo, what's up, Cosmic? You know me. Do you know me? I don't know me. Dude, Cosmic, how you doing? I'm your biological father, am I? Shit, dude, I'm not paying child support. <laughs> I'll tell you that right, damn now. I replied to your Destiny 2 community post? Where? Wait, I'm confused. Destiny 2 community post. Sure, maybe. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't really know uh, what's happening. <laughs> oh, Destiny 2 community post. What does that even mean? What platform? Yo, Ethan, what's up? Five, boom, there we go. I'm definitely gonna need some, uh, what power level do you recommend? Uh, I don't even know what level it is. Is it 1330? If it's 1330, if you're above 1300, you'll be fine. You won't be able to do it as fast. Do you like Shade Binder in PvE? Uh, I do not really use Shade Binder in PvE. It's not awful. You excited for a new Beartooth record? Dude, I'm so fucking ready. I'm so ready, man. The two singles? Mm. Mm. I heard the past is dead, and I was like, well, shit, that's going right on my teaching lab. Uh, uh, it's going right on my teaching lab playlist. No cap. And it is. <laughs> and it's super good. Yeah, I'm very excited. We think of the Banshee changes. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about any of that, have we? Uh, all of those changes. Oh, we did. Ch I don't remember if we talked about it or not. I'm very excited. Uh, the arms day changes are pretty exciting. I think they do they're doing it a lot better than in destiny one uh, Destiny one arms day I actually didn't really like that much. I know some people Mesa Sean included like really liked it. Uh, I wasn't really a fan um, The way they're doing it here where it can be like a bunch of whirlpool weapons and it's not really curated I really like this because uh, there's a lot of opportunities for what can happen Ah, uh, gets his health back before he can stun. That's so unfortunate. All right, I'm not gonna have enough health or ammo for this boss unless... See, Lament seemed to work a little bit better for that. About the same speed. I think I might just keep on Lament. This is gonna be rough. Oh, where'd he go? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think Lament's the play. Why are you farming Ophidian? Uh, I just don't have a good roll. I, is it any good? Uh, it's always good. Ophidian's has always been good. A am I missing something? That's like, surely, like... I thought he was like pretty well known that Ophidian's are some of the best. Oh, f like, that's- that's not- I'm not dumb, right? That's a pretty well-known thing. 
And maybe we just have a lot of new lights, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But I just want to make sure, like, I'm not out of the loop on anything. Uh, <laughs> Finians are still, like, fucking cracked, right? When is Guardian Games? Uh, Next week? I think this, it starts on Tuesday, right? Or it might be a week from Tuesday. Uh, you can't guarantee it, but you can farm, like, Lost Sectors guarantee what slot they drop in. So, oh, fuck. That was real dumb. So, for instance, today, arms drop from this. April 20th. Yeah, so a week from Tuesday. So next week's our last, like, no, nothing to do in Destiny week. Oh, shit, that's not true. You said April 20th? We have two more weeks of nothing to do in Destiny week? Never mind. We have two weeks of that. Yeah, okay, well, men's, like, way better. That sucks. What's your accolade level? I have no idea. Uh, I've just been really focusing on power leveling through the campaign before I focus on stuff like that. I'm really getting screwed not having heavy here. Come on. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is match game not on? Fuck, dude. Your bungee account got hacked and you had to restart? Ooh, what? That sucks, man. I would always recommend dual factor authentication on every account, guys. I know it's annoying, because it is. Like, I get it. But just imagine, man. You know what's a lot more annoying than having to log into Microsoft with your phone or some shit? Is, like, you know, literally losing an account with 10,000 hours on it. I'm sorry that happened to you, man. Are you? Did you contact Bungie support? Like, they can't... They're not able to give it back to you at all? Like, surely they can confirm that you're the owner of the email. Use the bow from the banner. Uh, that's exactly... So, I wasn't using Anarchy, Aaron. I was using... Last run, I did this, and I was using Lament. I just wanted to switch here. I was using the bow from Battlegrounds. It went way better than this. And uh, that that is the strat that I'm going to continue to do. I think uh, swords on this guy are a little bit better than like an anarchy because I can kill him instantly with that sword. I just didn't have ammo here because I had to use so many more attacks to kill champions. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, that was a rough run. Okay, I'll switch uh, everything back. Just trying out, you know, you gotta try different builds. Yo, Vanish, what's up, man? What kind of role you're looking for? Just high intellect recovery. High recovery is the main thing for me. Uh, Aphidians are the best exotic for world. Yeah, I agree. They're also, I, I think that's true. Yo, Brock, what's up? How good is Tikus? It's all right. Uh, it depends what you're using it for. Here, this is, this is gonna be much better. You know what? Do I need well? Yeah, I guess I do need well. I might be behooved to run top tree dawn instead, and that way I can take out shields with celestials. I stand here until I die. Rockets are my favorite. Rockets are pretty good. I just prefer swords a little bit. I can run passive guard. Oh, I don't even think I am running passive guard, by the way. I should be running passive guard. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. He did it twice. Oh, that's perfect. Just look, Lament's so much better for champs. Like, it's nuts. It's actually crazy just how much better Lament is than Guillotine. Alright. Mm. Yeah, I don't really like this situation. Oh, that's, that's actually alright. Oh, what? Oh, 
Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that's fine. What's your long shadow roll? It is triple tap field prep. Oh, that's not good. I don't think he'll heal when he's not aggroed, though. It's hard because, uh, like, nothing I run will help from those nerd necks. What exotic do you have on? Uh, Phoenix, which, you know, now I think about it, not very good. Because I, I literally only use my well at the end. Maybe I should run the uh, transversives instead. Yeah, I can make that. That's the slowest room by far. I can make that way faster. Oh, I keep thinking I have Tiku's on. That's why I keep firing from the hip. to do all right see this is much faster and I have plenty of ammo that's a little annoying uh, is there any way to go through a server readers immune thing to go through like anti-barrier i don't i don't oh you mean uh, i think swords might be able to or if you're standing in a well i don't know if swords actually can i know if you're standing in a well i i believe you can shoot through that which i do have a well oh oh hello okay that's fine you know just gaming completely part of the plan no one panic Too easy. Yo, what's up, Chubby? How you doing? Why grinding inf grinding amphibians? Because I just need it. I have ugh, fuck. I don't know why I didn't just pull out my sword there. Uh, I've got a, a, a got like a 100 100 split on every class except for warlocks. Uh, and so, and the only reason I don't on warlocks is because of I have an ass amphibians roll. And so if I can get a high. A high stat um, intellect recovery one, then we are good to go. Let's kill this guy first. hot dude there you go that's the strat there you also have 100 100 split on all your characters except for warlock dude that's the play but you got to get on warlock though that's why i'm doing this gotta have it on all four characters or all three characters turns out there's only three characters all right here you go yeah see this is a six minute run and the beginning was still scuffed as hell oh i don't like that and the end was still scuffed as hell. There you go. All right. Uh, so what do you do? Think of intellect and PvE. Is it worth it going for under? I think in any game mode, intellect and recovery should always be 10. If you can do it, always do that. 
in my opinion always do that and then on um, warlock and titan focus either discipline or um or in our uh, discipline or strength hunter mobility and pvp whatever the hell you want pve I just started using sunshot again why is it so good uh i don't know i don't i actually don't think i've used it since the changes the 150 changes yeah if i can speed up that first room dude i can get this done in like five minutes Oh shit, I was doing this uh, as the same time as you and I got a 69 roll on Ophidians, focus on resilience. Oof, resilience though. 100 mobility, recov, intellect is perfect hunter. Yeah, I mean, I think that's like objectively the perfect hunter. You do want low mobility on Warlock and Titan though, so you can skate. Okay. What? Where the fuck did I go? What is happening? I don't like this at all. The overload just disappeared. Oh, what the? What? Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Dude, that was nuts. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. How good is quick draw and high impact? Uh, quick draw is very good. I don't think high impact really does anything on hand, hand cannons. I could be wrong there. It is gauntlets today. It is. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I definitely don't like that. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. I can recover from that pretty easily. Okay. A little faster than last time. 30 recub, 30 discipline, 10 intellect. Damn, I'd, I, yeah, that's a roll I'd take right there. Oh my goodness. How much I can do when... Uh... Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Oh, I've seen this before. Yep. Oh, wow, oh, bruh. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Crispy? All right, just leave those there, whatever. Bruh, no way I'm falling for that shit again. Oh my god. I keep expecting them uh, to shield that they never do. When's the next Outrider stream? It was gonna be today, but the servers are all whack, so. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, it was gonna be today. I've been playing quite a bit. Uh, maybe later this stream, maybe tomorrow. I, I don't really know, to be honest.
I bet I could get these down to five minute runs or six minutes. Oh, I'm f oh, I thought I was gonna die there. Got Outriders last night installed and, and overnight played for like 20 minutes on server issues. Yeah, I mean the server issues, it seems like the game was a lot more popular than they were expecting, which is good for them. Kind of sucks for us. Oh, what? Cool. Yeah, this is like a five and a half minute run. That's pretty good. Yo, Osama, thank you so much for the uh, the super chat, brother. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a great day. Thank you so much. Uh, you've launched Outriders 20 times a day and about five of that 20 times is actually launched. Oh, I haven't had any issues with it not launching. Uh, usually I just get black screen like I'll be just be or I won't get black screen rather it'll Oh fuck! I'll be playing, and well, that would have been a really good run if I wouldn't have fucked that up. Uh, I'll be playing, and it'll just crash to desktop. No warning. Oh my god! Holy, you really need that well, huh? Okay, I'll just snipe him. That sucks. Just chilling, hell yeah, dude. Yo, what's up, Mega? My dad has a name called Outrider Hobbies, and he was like, "Stop talking to me." What? One second. I'm gonna have to reread that to interpret it a little bit better here. I can kill this nerd as long as the servitor doesn't. Oh, can I kill this nerd? Shit. Boom to death, boys. Oh, he's dead. Oh, what the fuck? I've made a severe miscalculation. Fair enough. Why are you using uh, Long Shadow and not Supremacy? Well, Coldheart, I'll give you like, I'll give you like one guess why someone would use a, a slightly worse sniper rifle. I'll give you, look, look, I'll see if you can figure it out. I don't know if he can figure it out. Maybe. What's the burn solar? $20 says you want to run in with a rocket launcher? Well, I don't want you to donate $20, Ridley. So no, I'm not gonna run it with a rocket launcher. So there you go. <laughs> no, I I always get questions like that. Like no, no, hey, Coldheart. I obviously the joke was is I don't have a god roll supremacy. Supremacy is only better if you get seven in the mag, triple tap. That's the only way it's better, and and you run it with boss. Uh, dude, like my one second. I have to I have to fix my shirt. Give me a fucking second. Okay, sorry. Um, and so I don't have one of those rolls. It's just I, I, I just get a little frustrated. Like I want, like once again, cold heart. No, no hate. I just get a little frustrated when people are like, "Well, obviously this is better, Scare. Why aren't you using that?" And it's well, it's probably because your mom fucking took it from me, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, I, I just don't have a good one. Oh shit. Guscara, what do you think about Titan? Is 100 recover, 100 strength? Hell yeah. That's what we like to see. Recovery is the most important stat for sure, man. Should have saved that for the shank. Did not think it through. Please stop. That is called efficiency. You have a good succession? Uh, not really a great one. Got a couple decent ones. I'm saving all my tokens for Vogue though, so. Come 
Come on. Bruh. If I could miss another like shot, that'd be great. Finish your crutch. Bruh. Endgame Pyromancer is insane at CT15. Oh, Stargrave. I don't know what Stargrave is. Don't no spoilers. Pyromancer, dude. More like pile of shit, mancer. <laughs> Trickster main. Uh, no, I'm sure it's great. Pyromancer is the only class I still haven't played. I, uh, because I played Devastator and Trickster, and I was like, wow, these guys are great. And then I played Technomancer in the beta. This is all in the demo. And I was like, wow, this guy sucks. And then I never tried another character because I was like, I guess Trickster's just the best. Will Vogg use spoils? Uh, we do not know, but just in case, I'm saving all of them. I don't see why it wouldn't. It might not, though. Oh, that is such an unfortunate... Bro, aren't you stunned or some shit? Leave me alone. Oh, fuck. I did that last time, too. Remember, drawing your bow cancels your jump, kids. Practice safe jumping. Dude, this is a fucking fast one. Holy. Hello. Hello. Okay, that guy's dead. There we go. Um, I picked Trickster because I thought he looked cool. Hell yeah, dude. Don't blame me if you keep getting lowest damage. What? No way Trickster's the lowest. I refuse to believe it. Did you put on passive guard? No, I should have though. That's, that is a for sure. This is really gonna be a five minute run, man. As long as I uh, don't mess it up. Like I did last time. All right, here we go. Yeah, five, 435. That's a hot run right there. Come on, leave. That's a good run. Nah, that's because tricksters are bad. Yo, Ricardo, what's up, man? I just want to say I love your streams, and when I actually catch them, keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Um... The, the tricksters you play with are bad. I'm a good trickster. I'm the best trickster, dude. I have yet... I have yet... to play. Uh... Oh, shit. Let me put on something else. Let me do that one. I have yet to play with anyone else in, uh... in that game. What are we talking about? In Outriders. I, I've only done solo. I want to get to the end game and then do it. Well, yeah, so you say there's not really end game. I think the end game for me personally is going to be like Borderlands. Like, if you think about Borderlands 2, there was, well, there were, I guess there are raid bosses in Borderlands. Um, but most of the end game, okay, let's go Borderlands 1. The end game was just farming all the legendaries, just getting them all. So, I'm probably going to do that in Outriders. You literally hit 5 million damage in one shot. Yeah, I don't... I'm Like I said, I'm only like level 20. No, 29. No, I'm only level 19. Yes. So I don't I don't really know like what that means. <laughs> 5 million damage could be nothing. I, I have no frame of reference for that, so... Come 
you want. Oh, I can kill this guy with that. That is the most annoying spot when he goes there. Oh, I need to reload. Shit. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. There we go. That's pretty good. What do you think about the article about parallel universe? So it's not. So keep in mind, guys, this article was in a different language. I don't think it's in a parallel universe. It, it's saying in parallel, which means at the same time, which means Bungie's just developing another IP currently. Uh, you know, I posed this question on Twitter, like, oh, does this mean parallel as in in the same universe or parallel as in at the same time? I got mixed answers, everyone acting like, well, they obviously mean this, but in my opinion, uh, in my opinion, it was just, it was just lost in translation and what they were saying uh, what they were actually saying was that they are developing multiple EPs or IPs rather EPs They're putting out multiple IPs and working on them at the same time. So in parallel uh, And the translation is just kind of weird um, I do not think there's an alternate universe destiny game coming out Also all of this shit about a destiny horror game. It's it's just fucking stop believing leaks. Okay I, I don't know how many times I have to tell you people this I shouldn't have to hold your hands if you see a leak and it comes from, you know, like literally anyone, just call it bullshit. It's not that hard. Okay? Okay? Okay, chat, can we can we just agree on that? But the Shadow of Anon guy has a good track record. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. It's always a lie. It's always wrong. He just people are always like, oh, but half of what he says is correct. And it's like Because it's always stuff that Bungie's already announced. Like he just takes stuff. That like, of course, they're either going to do or they've already said they plan on doing or something. And then he builds a bunch of bullshit off of it. That's always wrong. Remember when like fucking Ada one was supposed to be a dude? Remember when Icebreaker was supposed to come back with Black Armory? Yeah, huh? Whoa, it's always wrong. Every time. IP is intellectual property. It, it essentially means a franchise or like a game. So like Destiny is, a, is an IP. It's always wrong. I'm so sick of it. And everyone's always like, Scout, did you see this leak? It's like, no, I didn't fucking see the leak because it's wrong. But also, yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, people try to spoil stuff for me, but it doesn't even matter. We've gotten to the point where it's like data mined information. It's like the only thing I have to be scared of. No, oh my, there is no way Bungie would work on another Destiny-esque game. There's no way they would work on another looter shooter. You were, it would be very, 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 very dumb to make your own competition. That's like Coke releasing like another brown soda drink. You know, doesn't make any sense. As in, as very much against their best interest to do that. They want to branch out into different types of games and different... Did I kill this servitor? In different, different types of games, different genres, things like that. You want to diversify. It's just like, you know, if you have GME stocks, right? You're not going to go invest <laughs> in... In like fucking EB games, you need to diversify a little bit. Although that's if it's a if it's an improving sector, I guess that does. That wasn't the best analogy because like if you think electric EV vehicles are the best, then yeah, you're probably gonna invest in Tesla and Neo and all these other things. But generally, if you, if you're picking one winner, if you've got all your bread in one basket, you're not gonna support the other guy as well. Generally, the sock metaphor didn't work. Forget about that. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, so people keep saying they think Bungie's gonna release a mobile game, The Hammerman, and that is pretty much just based off of Tencent, or Tencent, or whatever the fuck the, that company's called, is has, like, a lot of IP in mobile games. Uh, I think having... I think Bungie wasting their talent on a mobile game would be real dumb. Like, my grandmother can make a mobile game in her basement. You know, like, this isn't, you're, you're not going to hire one of the most talented and creative and, and uh, successful studios on the planet to make a mobile game. I just get fucking Niantic to do it. You know, Niantic made Pokemon Go with like a seven person team or some shit. Like, it was like nothing. You know, you don't, you don't need Bungie to do that. So I, I do not think it'll be a, oh fuck, I'm going to die. I do not think it'll be a mobile game. Yes, arms are 1330, yes. Oh, I'm so fucked, yep. So the whole light and darkness saga, does that mean we're gonna get a follow-up saga? Uh, they... I would not... I would not plan on a similar size. I think uh, Bungie is very good at not limiting themselves to a certain size or scope. I, what the fuck am I doing? Why did I do that? Okay, well, I guess I'm doing that every time now. I don't know why I did that, but it worked. Uh, yeah, I would not. I would not say, "Oh, we're getting another seven-year saga." I think we'll get another saga. Um, but just like you know, story arcs for TV shows. Think about this as like another story arc in the in the in the TV show of Destiny. Uh, it doesn't mean it's going to be the same amount of seasons. Or, I guess that kind of applies to this game as well, but... Uh, they're gonna let the story, I would imagine, flow. Maybe they'll do a third saga at some point. Maybe they'll do a Destiny 3. Uh, I hope not. Maybe they'll make just, like, a complete Destiny universe where everything's just together in one. That would be hella pog. I think that's kind of what they're doing with Destiny 2. I would really like them to drop the 2. I think that'd be so hot. Just call it the Destiny Universe or the Destiny. I don't like the Destiny Collection. I think that's dumb. Do uh, the Destiny. Yeah, the Destiny Universe or uh, or just call it Destiny. Just completely rebrand. That might be a little confusing, but just call it Destiny One, Destiny One, and call the best game, which is a combination of Destiny Two with a little bit of Destiny One content. Call that Destiny. <laughs> I don't know. But no, there's no, there's no way. There's no way that, like, Tencent's gonna, like, invest, like, it was, like, $100 million or something into Bungie for them to make a mobile game. Unless, unless it's, like, you know, a Raid Shadow Legends, like, insane... But there's no way, dude. No. Destiny 2.5? No, I... Uh, no. <laughs> I just want Destiny. The Destiny, you know, like, what would you call it? Yo, what's up, Reese? How you doing? Nice hidey spot. Didn't they say they were going to support Destiny 2 for two years now? Or ten years? They've never, they have never, ever given a time frame on Destiny 2. Originally, the Destiny franchise had a ten-year contract with Activision. But they have now bought the IP. Oh, shit. They have now bought, purchased the IP to Destiny. They paid, like, an absurd amount of money to Activision. So they own Destiny entirely. Which means they can do whatever the hell they want for however the hell many years. And it sounds like it's going to be many, 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 many. Especially because, you know, I say this, like, every stream, I feel like. But it's really important to remember that Destiny is funding the studio right now. And the studio is tripling in size, which means they need that Destiny money to make the other non-Destiny things. So Destiny will be the breadwinner of of uh, a Bungie for a, a very long time until they have another, you know, successful IP. And even then, 
why would you throw away your like something like something like that right destiny will be a thing until destiny is no longer successful anymore because they don't have to worry about like microsoft or anything like they did with halo nothing like that bruh really um what's the drop rate of these things because i think i've only gotten one exotic right out of like eight runs or something so destiny cinematic universe now see i'd simp all i would i would do ungodly things for that destiny the guardians collection nah that doesn't roll off the tongue you got to think about it like a like from a business perspective i mean destiny is just clean right destiny just clean that's a that is a very very clean name just destiny i don't know Oh, goodness. Why a fitting aspect for Astral? Yes, yes, actually. Yes. <laughs> Yo, Nicholas, how are you doing? Destiny Times Outriders? Uh, I don't know if you could do that. Yo, Reese, are you still in here? Is Outriders back up yet? That's called... They should call it Destiny the Game. That's the subtitle. Played it now. That's an excellent name. I would definitely get behind that. Oh, bro. Okay, he's doing this thing again. I don't like when he does this thing. Yeah, dude's back up. Oof, might have to go play that. Nah, I'll finish it. I'll, I'll farm this for a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, you... All right, I'm sending it. Oh. <laughs> this pro move brought to you by. Oh, man. Destiny, literally all of it. Now, that I could actually get behind. It's got kind of the sass. I like that. I like that a lot. The, the Destiny collection? The Destiny saga? I would be kind of cool if they did, like, uh, the so sagas of Destiny. Something like that. I think that'd be cool. I feel like the Outriders Endgame is really disappointing. I haven't gotten there yet. I cannot comment. Although, like I said, with a hundred different legendaries or whatever, most of my end games can be finding the most efficient farm and just farming the absolute mother chicken out of it, dude. Oh, bruh. Please don't do your shield thing. Oh, he's doing the shield thing! I said no! Son of a bitch. dead okay that was good my theory is the next saga will call be nah no 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 see i know you didn't just make that up i know you just didn't make that you just didn't you did not just make that up i know that's part of the week because some asshole tried to spoil for me on twitter like i don't try to be all creative my least favorite thing on this planet my, like, people are like, they see a leak, and they're like, all right, I know exactly what I'm going to do. This happens every time. Every time there's some sort of leak, people come to my chat, and they're like, oh, I have the best idea. And then they just, like, act like they just came up with this amazing hypothesis, and it's actually just, like, word for word the leak, like that guy just did. And then they're like, oh, I didn't know there's a leak. Oh, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, okay, okay. You know why an Alpha Centauri saga doesn't make any sense? Because Alpha Centauri is the Traveler, which means thus is, is light and darkness. So that doesn't make any sense. It, 
It's my theory now. Exactly, dude. <laughs> okay, you're me out. The new name should be Destinies. That's actually like, like I know you were joking. That's actually like really good. D that's that. I could actually get behind that. Alpha Centauri is a star, thus I post a theory. No, 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 no. See, they always try this. They're like, I just picked one of, uh, you know, about 100 trillion stars. Wait, is it 10 to the 23 stars in the, in the known universe? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I just happened to pick, you know, the one that already has a theory or a leak about it. Right, okay, okay, bud. Okay, bud. Destiny's is very good. Also, where did this guy go? Destiny, they're all here. That would actually be awesome. Uh, to be fair, going to other soul systems, people have been saying it since uh, the season 11 reveal. What? People have been asking to go to different solar systems since forever. Dude, I'm all for going to different... I'm all for going to different solar systems. That's not the point. That's, that's not the point of my rant. What's my favorite food? Hot wings. Or donut burgers. Victoria! Do I like hot wings or donut burgers better? Yeah, right? That's a tough one. What? Yes. Yes, okay. That, that was my answer. <laughs> is it Nessus in a different solar system? No. Uh, I believe Nessus is a planetoid on the edge of our solar system. Or it's not a planetoid. Is it a planetoid? Yeah, it is. Yo, what's up, Central? How you doing? The fuck is a donut burger? Oh, boys, am I about to teach you what a donut burger is? Okay, okay, okay. Give me a second. Let me finish this. I'm about to uh, about to finish show you what a donut burger is. That's for goddamn sure. Bruh! Drop rate's ass. Okay. Uh, all right, Ridley. Uh, no. Shit. Ignore this. Give me one second, chat. Gotta find him. All right. All right, do you guys want to see what a donut burger is? You guys want to see what a mother fucking donut burger is? This is my favorite food on this planet, okay? Well, and hot wings. <laughs> All right, here we go. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a donut burger. Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of gross. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That picture. You did take that picture. Look at that. It's so good. It's so good. It is beautiful. You're right. Oh, yes. This is bacon, cheese, burger, two donuts, raspberry jelly, dude. Mm. Oh, I didn't cook this. This is a restaurant near us. But uh, we we, we've tried. We've tried cooking them. They're pretty. They're all right at home. They're, it doesn't. It doesn't come close to those. The place that that's from is right next to a Krispy Kreme. And, uh, and so, you know, right next to a Krispy Kreme, I'm pretty sure those are Krispy Kreme donuts. Very good. 
Best way to farm a set of shards? Uh, bruh. Uh, I guess it would technically be the Grandmaster Nightfall. I have wasted so many Ascended Shards, by the way. I, I was talking about this last stream, like, because I just, every time I go Flawless, like, I don't pick them up because I've got the max amount, like, because I have my inventory and all three Postmasters filled. And I've probably wasted hundreds of Ascended Shards over, over the course of my Destiny career. Oh, I failed. Ugh. We sent in it, boys. Yo, Dennis, what's up? What's your opinion on taking out Quick Draw and Astral? Uh, it made sense if they were sunsetting it, but they didn't sunset it, so now it's just dumb. Oh heck no, that's important. Krispy Kreme or Shipley's? What the fuck is a Shipley's? What? Like ship like Shipley's donuts? Is that what you're what is that? What's your opinion on the Vogs Worlds first? I think people are just like freaking out for no reason, dude. <laughs> I think uh I guess my opinion would really depend on how much they change it, but Destiny 2 playing completely differently than Destiny 1 in terms of abilities and guns uh, and them already saying that they're going to change it in some ways uh, I do not think it's a big deal. I think it's uh, I'm very excited to partake in it and then uh, You know, I think people need to stop freaking out about things before they happen And then if it happens and you still don't like it sure But freaking out about something before you know what the hell you're talking about not a good look I like to keep an open mind about these sorts of things. And I like triumphs. So, like... Hell yeah. Alright. One second, chat. This is the this is the most hectic park right here. What the hell are you doing? You're dead. Oh! Oh my god, he's gonna get all of his fucking health back. <laughs> You're dead. I don't know. How do you make these thumbnails, bro? They're insane. Uh, lots of, many years of practice. I'm glad you enjoy them, man. Glad you enjoy them. All right, all right, whatever, whatever. It just seems a little odd. It just seems a little odd. That, uh, you just happened to pick, like, three days after this leak was made. That's okay, though. You know, you know, coincidences do happen, I suppose. The Traveler is already referred to. Like, the, the very first... If I remember correctly, there was a... There was an ARG before Destiny released. And it was already... It was already called Alpha Centauri. And Centauri. And they refer to the Traveler. If I'm not mistaken, Alpha Centauri at this point in Destiny's lore is completely synonymous with the Traveler. I could be wrong. Any lore lords, any nerd necks, feel free to correct me. But I, if if I'm not mistaken, that is that is uh, true. There you go, cursed. Sometimes the cursed thumbnails are the best ones, dude. Wonder what the uh, meta for Atheon will be. Uh, probably rockets, if I had to guess. Bruh. Double bruh. Thoughts on Season of the Plague fanmade stuff? Very cool. I don't think it'll ever happen, but very cool. Yo, Crow, what's up? Would you name your Outriders character? I think just scare. <laughs> Pretty original. Bruh. When crossplay starts working correctly, uh, will we ever do viewer games with Outriders? Maybe. 
I guess, like, really, it kind of, because I'm still going through the campaign, I don't really know, like, what, you know, how long it's going to hold my attention, what sort of content I'm going to do. I've got a couple things I, I want to work on already, but um, in terms of long-term covering the game, I haven't even beaten the campaign yet, so I don't know what that's going to look like for me and my channel. Um... I envision right now something very similar to old school Borderlands where you just farm a ton. Your favorite thumbnail is the Skyburner one? Oh, dude, that was pretty good. Um, I just farm a ton, get different, you know, try to get every legendary. Except the one thing that's kind of holding me back on that, I, I will be doing that at least in my free time or at least getting a ton and making fun builds. The one thing that's holding me back on that is there is no targeted farm. And that is one of the best things about Borderlands that games just can't seem to get right. And you know, I'm, I'm literally doing this right now in Destiny because they finally, after like seven years, got it right. There needs to be targeted farms for your, your legendaries or exotics or you know, whatever the hell you call your top tier weapons. There needs to be targeted farms. People go crazy on that shit. And Outriders is very good at giving you a lot of loot. Very good at it. Incredibly good at it. But I'm hearing now that there's no targeted farming. And if that's true, man, I, that's like the one the one thing that they've whiffed on so far. They've done an excellent job. I'm very excited about the game. I will be putting a lot of time into the game. But targeting farming is, or targeted farming is a must in these games. Like you need to do it. People love that shit. Maybe not every exotic or legendary as they're called in that game. Uh, but you know, have a couple or let's say 50 percent come from specific bosses uh 50 percent are like world pool that's exactly what borderlands does that shortest stuff needs to happen and so i really i really hope uh people are wrong and there is targeted farming and we just don't really know about it yet but i i don't know we'll see yo what's up delta weird shirt nah dude this is green screen i'm wearing a green shirt right now there's eye of the storm so does that drop that just drops a lot of legendaries though, right? Like that doesn't drop specific legendaries. Am I wrong? I would love to be wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It was my theory for Steam 14, the Vex used stasis to break into VOG, and then we had to stop them coming over Paul for stasis, and it makes sense. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Why would they have to break into VOG? Don't they already control VOG? Like, we just killed Atheon. We didn't, like, seal up VOG. It could be. I, uh, I, you know, I always think that, like, I always... We introduce these concepts and then they never, like, other races never really do anything with them. So, like, for instance, the Fallen God Siva, I find it really interesting that, like, there is never a story exploring, like, you know, what happens if Vex got their hand on a little bit of Siva or, or Cabal. Because more Siva isn't being made, but there is still Siva out there. It still exists. As referenced by all these cosmetics. What the shit? And... I just find that kind of weird. And same thing with, like, Stasis. Yeah, so, you know, we already know what happens when Fallen get their hands on it. What happens if, like you said, if Vex get a little bit... Oh, I should have saved that nade. If Vex get a little bit, or if Ball get a little bit or something. Like, this is a this is a thing out there, and it's not hard to get your hands on. Not bad. Isn't Siva self-replicating? No, so my understanding was that what we destroyed was the replication chamber. So it can't just like make something from nothing. You need to actually have the 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 infrastructure to do so, which was in the replication chamber that we destroyed where the Iron Lords were. That's my interpretation of what happened. Siva is still active. We destroyed the replication chamber and then we killed Axis, right? Destroying the replication chamber does not deactivate Siva because then Axis wouldn't have been a thing and he was after the replication chamber We know that Siva's still active because Outbreak is still active and it functions on Siva So Siva for instance in the lore, there is a lot of Siva on the Exodus Black, which is where failsafe is. Oh shit So it crash landed on Nessus with a ton of Siva, but we don't know what happened to that Siva 
So it's still out there. It's still active. I just think it'd be cool. Cool to see what else happens. I don't know. Siva might not ever return. They've been teasing it a lot though. But EDZ is fixed, no Siva there now? I mean, that's fair. <laughs> like they, I think what really happened to Siva is Bungie changed their mind. They're like, yeah, well, actually, no. And they're like, we'll keep selling it as cosmetics because people go crazy. But in terms of lore, never happened. You're right about Eye of Storm? Oh, okay. Well, that's really unfortunate. But, you know, I'll still be farming it for stuff. I'm sure, like, a targeted captain farm is going to end up being the best legendary farm in the game, though. Scare, I can't be that can't be the only chamber. Uh I don't know. Because it was invented using Rasputin, right? So like Clovis Bray made it, I believe, using Rasputin. I could be wrong there as well. So it would kind of make sense that it was by Rasputin. Okay. Uh which means I guess there might be some on Mars. I don't know, man. Just an idea. It's just something I've always found kind of weird, you know. Oh shit. They get rid of you know. I'm sure stasis is going to be ever evolving, or I'm sure the other darkness subclasses, you know, whatever they are, decay or corruption or uh, erectile dysfunction, whatever they call the other subclasses for darkness, I'm sure like we're gonna face enemies with them, right? Like I'm sure Hive will have the corruption one or whatever that ends up being. I'm sure the Cabal will have the erectile dysfunction ones, uh, whatever they do, man, you know? So that'll be kind of cool, but I still think like seeing other enemy types with stasis would have been really cool. But I do understand that's a lot of work, so. Yeah, exactly, Cabals, this guy gets it. Oh, look at that quick scope, dude. That was clean. Okay. Bruh, that's actually like the best place you could be. Are you what? That's so unfortunate. Okay. Uh, so today's dungeon is uh, not dungeon lost sector. Le the master lost sector is dropping arms today. Yes. Oh, got to reload. That's unfortunate. I whoever said the destiny's idea. That's like super good, by the way. Like I can't stop thinking about how awesome that is. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm good at the game. Don't like this. Bruh? Mega bruh? That server is most certainly dead. Oh, I didn't shoot him. Ah! Uh, what's up with Kallus? He just like dipped. I'm sure that is going to be a very important storyline down the road. Like, and when I say down the road, I mean probably not. Maybe this next season, maybe the one after that, but almost certainly that Kallus stuff, it's gonna have a lot larger implications than we think. Yeah, the Outriders controllers, I saw, I saw, they look so good, right?
Oh, that is a big rip. That's fine. Should I get always on time after anarchy? Even before the other raid weapons? Um, no, probably not. I would, I, uh, I'm the type of person to say yes to something stupid like that because I really like, like the always on time is just so fast and it's like just a quality of life thing, but also it really doesn't matter that much. So I would probably get all the other exotics first, but like in practicality, but also going vroom vroom is pretty cool. So. Anarchy should definitely be your first though. Like without a doubt. Oh, uh, excuse me? Nice. Excellent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well done. Aw, oh, shit. All right, you know what? Okay. How did I not kill you? Do you think we'll have Vogue will have the same mechanics, the same bosses? I think uh, it'll probably have different mechanics. Si like, similar mechanics, but a couple extra mechanics. This is what I hope for. I Like, I obviously have no idea. But my dream would be s harder mechanics, same basic ideas, but just, like, more stuff stacked on top of it. Um, and then... Like, similar bosses, but renamed, kind of like how they did with, like, Omnigal. Like, they kept the same character model. They're just like, oh, she's Navota now, or something. And, like, I've made the joke, instead of Atheon, it should be Baytheon. You know? Yeah, this is 1330. Yo, what's up, Patrick? Uh, hey, what's up, Scarlet? Do you think this week's GM is the hardest ever? Oh, no. Not even close. No, 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 no. Uh, glass way, way harder. Not even close. That boss room was so unforgiving. Uh, corrupted, way harder. Uh, garden world, if you didn't melt the boss, way harder. Like, this week is tough. Uh, we were getting it down to, like, 19-minute runs, though. Uh, when we were farming. Uh, like, on stream, I think we were getting it down to, like, 25. And then, like, I did a couple later... And we were getting it down to like 19. Like, it's not that tough. Um, I think I know someone who got like a 13 or a 14 minute run. Pretty fucking nuts. Uh, I would not call this the toughest one, though. It is tough. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but uh, it just takes a little bit of finesse in the mechanics. We both got the Kaga sweater. Nice, dude. Got to support the boys. As you do. Yo, if you could, like, stop fucking shooting me, that'd be great. Oh, nice. Hey, okay, nice. Alright, we, we finished sending it. Oh, never mind, I'm dead. <laughs> I know a guy who pronounces the CH in Narchi. Should I take him out? Wait, wait, what's wrong with saying an Archie? That's how you pronounce it. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna die. Shit. Who's Kakis? Bruh, I don't even know. The fact that he can teleport down like that is like not okay. 
It ain't Anari. Yeah, dude, you're supposed to pronounce the CH. Anarchy, duh. I think you've just been pronouncing it wrong this whole time and you're trying to make your friend feel bad. Oh, shit, dude, that is so dumb. Stop. Like, actually just get some help. Come on. That delay, like, between the reload and the fire, also not a fan. Because I sit there and I click my mouse like 400 times. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, uh, you're getting a count conquer title? Hell yeah, dude. Good luck. I uh, I have a heart. I have a feeling that Saber is going to be very tough, but I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe not. Maybe it won't be. Also, it totally will be. I think Saber is going to be like just as hard as this one. Definitely going to need some bubble titans to take out or for the the ships. What the? What the hell just happened? What's your quick opinion of Outriders? I played the demo and I enjoyed it myself. I, I'm loving it. Like I said, I said earlier, uh, I would be playing it right now, but the servers were acting up when I, I was like, I made a thumbnail and then I was like, all right, well, let me go check Twitter. And then it was like, Outriders is having issues with the servers. And I was like, well, fuck, I guess I'm playing Destiny. So I made another thumbnail and here we are. Yeah, Narchi. Yeah, I agree, Delta. I It's going to be very tough, I think, but, you know, whatever. Still be a lot of fun. I think, uh... I'm trying to think what else. Devil's Lair was easy. Arms Dealer was, like, literally free. Proving Ground was tough. This one, Warden might be a bit tough, but I think it'll actually be easier than last time because we have Sniper Barrier now, which is pretty pog. Oh. What's the, what's the last one? What am I missing? Oh, Insight Terminus. Has it been Insight yet? Insight will be free. With a capital fr. Uh, I don't know about stable on Steam. My, so my thing is, I haven't been ha having a lot of... I have had some server problems, but the majority of my problems have been just getting black screened. Or no, that's... I keep saying that. It's wrong. Keep getting... It'll just kick me to desktop. No, no error code. That's like my biggest problem with it right now. Is like every 10 minutes, I'll... Wait, what? Every 10 minutes, I'll straight up just be kicked to... The boot... Uh, the My desktop. It's kind of annoying. Other than that, the game's amazing. Inside was the first ever GM. Yeah, no, it was. I mean this season, sorry. Yeah, it was actually tough back then because the boss had an insane amount of health. Like, a, a literal ungodly amount of health. What's that role you're looking for in particular? Lots of recovery, lo lots of intellect. Can you see the new Space Jam trailer? No, I haven't. I'll check that out. That's what happens. That's pally roll. I got a quick draw rangefinder. The barrel and mag are kind of ass. So is the masterwork, but uh, still god roll. Pally's kind of not great right now. I'll probably farm a better one when... Um, Oh, bro. I'll farm a better one when it's uh, like all six week. If they do like, if you can do any of them, I'll farm arms dealer on a double loot week. If, yeah. So if one of the last three weeks of the season, they make it double loot, I will be farming arms dealer for six or for uh, God roll pally. But for right now, I got, I got a good one. 
And I was like, alright, that's kind of enough of uh, this. So I haven't. Alright. Okay. This is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Every time. Yo, yo, and what's up, man? Oh, hell yeah, Rommel. That's awesome. Literally just have to wait for him to move when he does that shit, huh? Come on. Best tip for flaws, don't die. Dude, I never thought about it like that. But he's right. Bruh. He's, he's absolutely right. What a mad lad. Okay, don't like that. Nice. Finally played Trials. Got Igneous with this week's uh, challenge. Killing win snapshot. That's not bad. Uh, only got one win though. Damn. But still... That's nice. Igneous is so good. Even with bad perks. Like, it's, it's stats are next level. So enjoy it. It's very good. One of these guys gives me more special. Nice. Uh, we'll see you later, Scare. Gonna head out. Good luck. See you, Central. Thanks for hanging out. Thoughts on eating pizza? Dude, pizza is pog. Uh oh. I'm big dead. I would very much like more special, please. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, okay. That was kind of weird. Why is it doing that? It was like, it's doing a weird cancel thing. Got the leftover pizza for lunch. Now that's Pog. Hot sauce, pizza. Best combo on earth, man. Almost died. Hello? Well, that's a little annoying. <sighs> okay. Cold pizza is better than hot? Oh, I don't think that. Uh, how far have you gone in the Outriders campaign? I, uh, I don't want to do any spoilers, but I just found that one altered was, like, burned into a wall. I think I, someone who has beaten the campaign, how far am I into it? I don't, like, don't use names or anything, because I don't want to spoil anything in case someone's actually paying attention to the story, but, uh, yeah, there's an altered burned into, like, a wall. I just beat, like, a big monkey boss thing to get to him. Guess he wasn't really a monkey, he's more like a dog. I'm pretty close. Wait, what? Really?
how many big bosses are there in the game like think about the fire spider how he had like a proper boss health bar like on the bottom of your screen like how many of those bosses are there I hope there's a lot, because I really like those, but... You haven't bought the game? How close are you? About four. <laughs> uh, how many total are there, condescending? Like, don't, don't, like, spoil what they are, but, like, up to the point where I am. Up to the point where I am, so where the that guy is, like, incinerated into a wall. I believe the only boss I have fought, like proper boss that I have fought, is the fire spider guy. I think that's it. And if you, you said I'm pretty close, so is there only two like major bosses? I hope that's not true. The major bosses are real pog. <sighs> Scare my team just wiped approving grounds with one six out. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. One or two left. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. That's okay. I will wait to play them. I wish uh, Destiny had more intense, difficult boss fights. That fire one, that fire spider guy, was very tough. Oh, man. Uh, he was very tough. Oh, you like Jakob's voice? I actually don't like it. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Leave me alone. Fair enough. Ran 11 Nightfalls on Hero and haven't gotten a single Pally to drop. Platinum? That would be crazy, actually. I don't know why I used that on that guy, but okay. Finally got uh, Proving Ground GM done. I have a dead Holland room with... Oh, bro, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Are you wearing a Kaga study? No. But also, yes. Okay, let me take care of these shanky boys first. I feel like the more shanks that you can take care of early on, the easier it is to kill this guy. There we go, okay. Bruh. Oh, man. But, uh, so... Yeah. I do, we're definitely going to be playing more Outriders. I've been, I've been really enjoying it. And then in Destiny, I mean, we don't really have anything until Guardian games, which, you know, as always, we'll be, we'll be representing hard. I still don't know which class I'm going to be playing yet uh, because I don't really main a class. If you're new here, you just don't know. I, I, uh, I don't really main a class. So uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be like, which class I'm going to be pushing for in Guardian games. I let you guys vote on it or something. And then, of course, I will push hard. I might just do Warlocks because I prefer PvE on Warlocks nowadays just because it, it's, it's kind of easy. Might be doing that. 
Titans if there's a lot of PvP. I don't really know, man. But I'm pretty excited for it. I'm hoping it's good. It, they sound like they've made uh, a bit, a few changes. Uh, okay, that's fine. They sound like they made a few changes, which I'm hoping are fun. Hopefully, we get some good stuff, man. I don't know. I think uh, that'd be very cool. Looking forward to it. There, the last few like live event, you know, things like that have been really good. So, got high hopes for this one. And then next season, not actually that too far away. Lots of farming to be had still this season, though. And then, you know, we still don't know if there's going to be, like, a end-of-season live event or cutscene or mission or maybe just nothing. We have no idea, so... Will the armor be ever Uh Almost certainly. Pretty much every live event, they do that. Oh, why didn't it finish him? What? Here I am waiting for the finish. Huh. Uh, but yeah, the armor will almost certainly be Eververse. It, it, I think it is every single live event, so. Yo, Tate, what's up? Uh, Scare got Impulse, Amplifier, and Frenzy on the seasonal go. Ah, uh, that's pretty good. What does that Impulse and Amplifier do again? What do you do in Guardian games? Think about, like, Olympics, but for Guardians. So it's essentially just, like, you just do a bunch of stuff, like, random things, like bounties, and you earn medals, and then you deposit them. And you, there's just, like, a bunch of, like, challenges... That's all it was last year. They, it looks like they might have changed it a little bit this year. Best reload in velocity. Oh, that's pretty cool. Here, I'm going to take this off. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, but you took my shirt off. Oh, shit. All right, give me one second. <laughs> well, shit. Ugh. Boom. How are we back? Whew. Tell you what, when the day someone invents a hoodie that doesn't like take your shirt all the way or halfway off when you take it off, dude, they'll have all of my money. Yes, I'm doing that. Uh, will Air Apparent be back as a reward? Yes, uh, almost certainly it will be because they said that they took it out of the, uh, they took it out of the chaos or kiosk, excuse me, uh, because it was going to be a appearing in a future live event. Almost certainly they meant Guardian Games, and then. I assume like the catalyst or a new ornament or something will be available as a reward because air apparent is kind of the guardian games exotic so is that a six pack you saw bruh no definitely not <laughs> He's gonna jump up here sometime. I've gotta be quick. Yup. Ah. Oh. 
but I, I think it'll be pretty good. And then we still don't know anything about next season except for Vault of Glass. I mean, think about it. We're probably not that far from Vault, right? A month, month and a half. Zer is on Nasus. Maybe a little bit longer from Vogue, but we're, we're not that far. Titans are going to win again. Are they, though? Are they, though? All righty. You really want a good Ophidians? We'll go farm for him. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Good grenade. Season of the Timeless would be nice. <laughs> timeless. That is a cool name. And then, yeah, you get the Timeless seal. That shit would be dope. Isn't there a Sparrow competition? That was SRL. That hasn't been a thing since Destiny 1. They said they stopped doing it because it uh, did not warrant the development. It took too long to develop, pretty much. I am highly doubtful that we ever see that back. But we might. Guy's dead. That'd work with the stranger and all the future Vex stuff if there's more Vex stuff coming. Dude. Yeah, I guess that's the question, right? Like, are Vex gonna be the, the focus of next season? Or are they like so like how the Cabal are the focus of this season, but the Scorn are kind of like a side story with Presage? Like, is, is Vogue going to be the presage of next season? Is it going to be, um, you know, uh, like, Fallen based or something, and then it's uh, Vex side story? Are Vex just going to be... Aw, what? Is it, is, are, are the Vex just going to be the main enemy, and Vogue's just part of the, the central story of the season? Like, what are they going to do with that? I'm pretty interested for this. Are they just going to throw Vogue in like they did with Saber? and uh, Devil's Lair and just like not even acknowledge that they're in it from a different point in time. I really hope they don't do that. But they might. You never know, man. You want another Taken story? I'm sure Witch Queen will be a Taken story. Like, I know it's Hive, but surely she'll she'll have, uh, like, with Kyria and stuff. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, someone even said we might go back to Vault of Glass to kill Kyria. That'd be kind of cool. Something like that. I don't know, man. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's very interesting. Was there anything between Hive and Vex? Uh, what do you mean? Like, story-wise? Is Vex Mythoclass coming back? Almost certainly Vex Mythoclass will be back. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. There's no cross between Hive and Vex. Isn't Kyria in the Taken Realm? Uh, she... Or it. Or, I forget. Um, I think technically he's in the Dreaming City. Still. But it doesn't mean that, you know, the Dreaming City experiment didn't work, so Kyria went to the Vault of Glass to find out how to run a simulation engine to get even more tributes for South Noon. Or something like that, right? Like, you could... I think you could make something like that work. And then you just kill Kyria... 
as the first boss, and then you get an Osiris quote that's like, Guardian, you killed Kyria, but there's something even worse in here. And then you go, and then it's Baytheon, uh, and then you kill Baytheon. But there's a, they pretty much will have to bring back Vex Mythoclast. I don't see any way they'd bring back Vogue and not Vex Mythoclast. Like, I, I don't think that would make much sense. Um, and they will mo almost certainly make it, you know, they'll... Fuck. They'll Destiny 2-ify it where they make it, like, super usable like they do with other trash Destiny 1 exotics that they bring into Destiny 2. Crota did have the run-in with the Vex. Crota is the reason the Vex are in our reality. He tore a hole in our reality with his sword and let them in. They invaded his homeworld. Very interesting stuff. Also, Crota, pretty dumb. <laughs> Not a smart guy. Please don't teleport, buddy. Uh, one second, Ridley. Ridley, thank you for the super chat. Uh, we do anything special for your 1500th video? Uh, probably not. It's hard to track, right? Because that counts live streams as well, and live streams are hard to leave videos. So, probably not. Uh, you know, subscriber check mark or check points, milestones is the word I'm looking for. That's one thing, but like, uh, videos, probably not. Outriders is lit when it's playable? Hell yeah, dude. It is a lot of fun when it's playable. I agree with that. Also, in season in the Hunt trailer, people saw saw the box of darkness stream city. I don't know if that was anything substantial, or possibly for. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that'd be cool if it was like a dreaming storyline, and then yeah, we went back to vault to get information about Kyria or Kyria's in the vault or something like that. So that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I just have Kyria take Templar's place. Is is my idea? Just like literally give the Templar a taken skin. That's all they have to do. They're like. I don't think people really expect them to put a, an immense amount of time and effort and money into a raid that's already launched. I don't, at least. You know, I, I some changes would be nice, but I'm not surely they can't they can't be bothered to spend as much money on a revamp as like a new raid. So, or time. You know, money and time are pretty much synonymous. So. Ooh. Hear me out, Vogue will be part of the t Oh, Barith? Here, one second, sorry. Uh, Vex are so underutilized. Their technology advanced to get crypts off by guards left and right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're right. I would love... They did introduce the Vex kind of homeworld idea, or a Vex homeworld through the Collector's Edition lore that's in the Glassway portal, but I haven't gone there yet. I think that would be awesome. Uh, sorry, uh, Ewan, or Iwan. Uh, hear me out. Vogue will be part taken where we kill Kyria and everything in the vault is taken. Uh, except for Atheon where the taking is still happening, so you fight against the Vex and taking at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Benjamin, and Scarrow te Techno is actually so good. I don't know why you shit on it. It will literally can me so quick. Dude, it's just not fun. I don't know. I do not like... It just like in Borderlands, Axton and Roland, worst characters. Like throwing out turrets and shit, I don't know. Never been fun, in my opinion. I don't I don't like that. Personally. Oh, fair enough, holy. I uh I just don't like gadget classes, never do it for me, man. I read somewhere that someone from Bungie said the vault will fit. Hey, if you can find me that link, that would be sick. Because I have yet to see that. And I I tend to stay quite up to date on these things. Be interested to see where it fits. Also, someone who never did D1 vault. You can't wait for it. Well, D1 vault was really underwhelming in my opinion. But that's not necessarily a popular opinion. But compared, like, if you've done, like, Last Wish or something, like, you will be completely underwhelmed by Vault of Glass if they bring it back as it was. The image preview, image Aether room. Wait, what? What image preview of Atheon room? In the director's cut? Because that's a that is a concept art we've had since Destiny One. 
if that's what you're talking about. Sun bracers are the way? What? No? Yo, parents, how you doing? All right, God roll Fidians here. Boom. Never mind. <laughs> Remember when I said uh, I? That's actually next run. Yeah, Chubby, let me pull that up. Because I believe we're talking about the same picture. And that's a picture that's been around since Destiny 1. This? Yeah. Um, see? This is from Art Station. It's the same picture. Just cropped here. Same green stuff. Literally the same everything. And it was uploaded to Art Station six years ago. Oh, you can't see it because of my head. Six years ago. Here. This is an old concept. So that's that's not updated for Destiny 2. So don't read into that. How's the farming going? Awesome. Vault was incredibly easy. Vault, um... I wouldn't say it was as easy as, as Crota. I would say it had just a smidgen more mechanics overall as Crota. Uh, very me not mechanically challenging raid. I mean, it was the first, right? To be expected, but uh, very not mechanically challenging. Very linear. Pretty fun. Very overrated in my opinion, but I've made a video on that. We've already talked about all of this. No, no, no big deal, Chubby. That stuff's hard to miss, right? Like, I, I don't expect everyone to be up to date on concept art from seven years ago, you know? So, no, it's, it's whatever. But yeah, I definitely want to read into that. How come you use the long shadow over succession? Uh, because I have a better roll. Did you say you hate the term raid layer? I don't hate the term raid layer. I hate the connotation that people associate with raid layer. People act like just because something is a raid layer, it's inferior. You know, I, I fully believe that if Spire of Stars was called a regular raid and not a raid layer, the public perception would be better. People just like to shit on it because it's called a raid layer, right? I still think, I, you know, to this day, I, I have such an incredibly hard time believing that anyone likes, like legitimately likes doing, or the mechanics, excuse me, of Vault the Glass more than Spire of Stars. That doesn't make any sense, dude. I don't know. It's, it's generally, like, I know a lot of, like, try-hardy, endgame, collector, triumph hunter, solo, speedrunner players like me. Like, I know, like, a lot of them really like Spire. It's it's typically, like, you know, the... I don't want to say casual because it's not true, but, like, the more... Uh, the less in-depth type of player seems to like Vault of Glass better. It might be a nostalgia thing. might be because it's easier. But, like, in terms of, like, an overall raid experience, Spire of Stars was so much more complete, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it had its flaws. That last encounter, entirely too long. I don't think anyone's going to deny that, right? Um, but still, very good, very good encounter. Very good raid. I like it a lot. How's the farming going? Very well, man. Thank you for asking. Um, Last Wish is the hardest when it comes to mechanics? Easily. Yeah. Last Wish is the most in-depth and between encounters has the most unique uh, mechanics, which is like one of the things that makes it the coolest. Like if you think about the artifact from Last Wish, you use it for something different every single encounter. Uh, the Being the taken eyeball thing. It's used in a completely different way in every single encounter, uh, which is the first time that's ever been done in a raid. Pretty much every time you use... Uh, like, so take, like, the Aegis from Vault of Glass. In every encounter, so, like, in Templar, you use the super to drop a shield, and then you block with it to stop him from teleporting. Uh, 
and then you use the block to cleanse people as well. So I guess it's technically a little bit different, but if you think about like uh, the balls from Wrath in the Machine, every encounter you throw them. Uh, if you think about the uh, Witch's Blessing in Crown, literally the same every time. Uh, and, and that sort of thing. Last Wish, you truly use it for something different and in a different way every single encounter, which is crazy. Very cool. Found an article where Wooshman says on Vaulted Content will tie into the story. Yes, please, please let me know because I hope that's true because Devil's Lair and Saber both were unvaulted and neither of them tie into the story. So I hope you're absolutely right, Paythor. That would be sick, man. I want Vaulted Glass to be integral to the story of, of Beyond Light or Witch Queen or, or this season or something. In your opinion, Levi Leviathan has harder encounters than Last Wish? Uh, I don't know about that one, Coach. I'm not saying... Well, no. Mm. Yeah, no. I, I don't think I can agree with that at all. Maybe Gauntlet, but like Gauntlet isn't hard. It's just hard. Like people have too bad ADHD to like get them to stay still, you know? It's like getting people to do Gauntlet has is the same problem as getting people to do the first encounter of, of Crown of Sorrow. It's like no one wants to do the same thing four times in a row. It's boring. Same reason that I dislike the orcs fight. Same same reason people don't like Gauntlet first round a first encounter of Crown. Um you know, I talked with uh, Dado about this in our video like four years ago, but I call it the Oryx effect where you can't shorten an encounter no matter what. Like you just have to do something super tedious a bunch of times. No one likes it. No one ever likes it. The least repeatable encounters are the ones that are forced to be the longest. Definitely never done Riven Legit. You need to. Riven Legit is the best encounter of all time. I will not be taking questions at this time. Yeah, that was pretty good. So... I hear me out. Vault of Glass wasn't perfect, and it wasn't what raids are today, but it was the first, and is it really uh, fair to hold it to the same standards of raids like Last Wish? I'm, when people are actively comparing them and saying Vault of Glass is the best raid ever, then yes. Then you are actively comparing two things, right? You can't... If you have to add a qualifier... So here's, here's like, my problem, right? So, like, if you ask someone what their favorite Pichu joint is, you know, you always go to the big three. You always say Papa John's, Domino's, or Pizza Hut. It's probably one of those uh, for most people. I, obviously, local places win most of the time, but, you know, you usually talk about, like, established food chains, and you're going to go to one of those three. Someone will always say, yes, but Little Caesars is good for the price. They, they always say that every time. Every time I've ever had this discussion in my entire life, someone says that. Little Caesars is good for the price. If you need to add a qualifier to something, then it objectively is worse. Like, wait, so like, Little Caesars is good for the price, uh, you know, suggests that Little Caesars is ass comparatively to the more expensive ones. Vault of Glass was good for being the first raid, suggests it doesn't hold up to the rest of the raids. So uh, if you are making, if you are directly making a comparison, you're directly making a comparison between two things, then you need to treat them as equals. There's no like handicap score process. So like a handicap in sports for like, I ran cross country. So there's always like a handicap for the course. So like, let's say you ran a 5K in 22 minutes, but then you go to a hilly course and you run it in 25 and they'll say like, oh, well the hilly, the this is a hilly course. So technically on a flat course, you would have actually done this in like 23 minutes or something. It's called a handicap. And so you can't you can't compare things and be like, well, handicap being this is the first raid gives it a plus two score. That's not how that works. You know, you are comparing two, you know, 12 raids or whatever. You compare them based on the same criteria. Vault of Glass 
is should be compared directly to Last Wish, and it is not as good. It's not as good. How about this though? I like Little Caesars because most because of the price. Gross, 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 gross. I like, oh, I mean, so that is an argument. And so like, honestly, like applying it to this, I've heard that before. People say I like Vault of Glass because it is the least mechanically challenging raid. Sure, fine. That's, that's a, you know, that's, that is something that's fair. But what I would say to that person is if you don't want raid mechanics, go play a strike, you know, like that's what Nightfalls are for. In my opinion, raids are supposed to be mechanically challenging and, and rewarding and all of these things yes vault of glass was the first yes it was the first there's no denying that but that does not give it a you know if you're saying oh it's the best raid ever it better hold up to criticism and vault of glass it does not fit what my personal criteria of raids is which is not dead ass easy because there's one mechanic per encounter does that make sense i hope that makes sense i don't know uh my uh, i don't know if you have to add a qualifier to something you are kind of admitting that it, it needs a handicap to be compared anyways proving ground mechanics are harder than crota proving ground doesn't really have any mechanics what are you talking about people still can't strike mechanics properly and corrupted there you go now if you would have said the strike mechanics and corrupted are harder than crota i would have given you that I will also die on this bridge that Crota and Vault of Glass are on the same level mechanically. Like, maybe... Let me think about this. Okay, let's break this down. Maybe that's not true. So, I guess the first real encounter to first real encounter would be Templar. Because let's be honest, bridges... Bridge doesn't have any mechanics in Crota. Like, really? I mean, yeah, you have to stand there. Is that really a mechanic? Uh, so, bridge doesn't... Or, the Abyss doesn't really... Excuse me. Abyss doesn't have any mechanics. Um... And complex is oracles and building aspire. Also, no more no mechanics other than kill shit stand here. So those don't count. So let's go, gatekeeper. What do you do? You have to know how to use the shield to break it, and you have to stop him from teleporting. So two mechanics ish. Bridges. You have to kill the sword bearer, take the sword across one at a time, switch plates. I'm gonna call those about equal. Maybe temple arts a little bit more mechanically challenging. Death singer and gatekeeper have the same amount of mechanics which is zero <laughs> uh atheon you get teleported so you have to kill oracles in there while the other teams keeps you safe and pulls you out oh shit i forgot about this and you have to block so i'll, I'll give atheon uh uh let's say a liberal three mechanics <laughs> it's kind of hard to measure like that though right crota you have to get the sword you have to Drop Crota, you have to hit him. I I would say like two, two and a half mechanics for Crota. So yeah, Vault of Glass, we'll say, is slightly more mechanically challenging than Crota's. But they are about on the same level. How about this, Scarrow? Vogue fits better in the dungeon section. Yes, Vault of Glass as a dungeon. I tweeted that one time. I tweeted that one time and Brennan Thorne replied. Ruined. Thank you so much for the super chat, brother. Vault is great. Most Destiny 2 raids are better because of mechanics, but mainly nostalgia makes it better. I'm even at fault for that. And that's what I, so like, I don't really think nostalgia has a place when you, like when I do my tier lists, right? It is trying to be as objective as possible in terms of putting everything on a super level playing field. And then I add my subjectiveness like, oh, Vault of Glass is dead easy compared to this raid. And the rewards, while they were good, wouldn't really hold up in this current sandbox or something like that. And so that's how I, I try to do it. Let me try to find my tweet. Um, it was it was so long ago. So what happened was Destiny Nostalgia, that account, once again, I don't know who runs it, but I don't like most of their takes. They're a lot very, you know, nostalgia heavy as the name would imply accounts or uh, takes. Yes, here you go. And so I tweeted out, Crota Zen should never be a dungeon, make Vault of Glass a dungeon or something. And then that day, Bungie employees, that was the day where people were like tweeting, like, I don't think I've ever left a company meeting more hyped in my life. 
Today was a good day. Like, there was like a hundred Bungie employees tweeting like crazy things about Bungie. And so I said, all these excited Bungie employees only serves as confirmation of bias of one thing. Bog is coming back as a dungeon. And then fucking Brendan Thorna. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, this is the, the lead of the, the raid and dungeon team. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Oh, god damn. Pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Where does end better as a dungeon? Perfect time. I stop. 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 Just add a couple of mechanics. Just make it so you can't cheese the bridge. Just, you know, they, like, stop with this bullshit, dude. Once. Oh, my God. Okay. We're fucking doing it. We're fucking doing it. Where's the Destiny? Destiny raid world record speed runs. Is there a is there a speed run site for Destiny? Destiny two speedrun.com. All right, here let's just do this. Destiny vault of glass world record time. Uh, looks like Scrub set a vault of glass world record, which is fifteen minutes, fourteen fifty eight. Okay, what is Crota's end speed run is probably pretty fucking fast, huh? Oh, it's actually not so bad. Oh, that's solo. Looks like uh, six and a half minutes in 2017. Okay. What about Wrath? Wrath of the Machine speed run. Uh, 14 and a half minutes. Okay, what's the fastest Destiny 2 rate? Eater of Worlds... Speed run. Wow, is it really that slow? 15 minutes. Garden of Salvation speed run. 12 minutes. All right, maybe Curtis is super fast. <laughs> this wasn't what I was trying to prove. Fuck. Uh, what about Deep Stone Crypt? 12 minutes. That's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. My point is. Let's just make it hard. Just add mechanics. Why take this perfectly good piece of raid content and make it a dungeon because it makes my feelings hurt less? Like, fuck that. No. Let's add a mechanic. Eater of Worlds is a time lock due to mechanic timers. Oh, that's fair. Oh, skir dude, the Scourge time run is like... Oh, dude, 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 dude. It's like four minutes. I remember this. That's a good point. Scourge of the past speed run. I think this is the fastest in the entire game. Three minutes and 53 seconds. That doesn't make any sense. What the fuck is that? That must be just starting at the boss. It will, okay, right here, I have a Clawtivity. So this is Luminous. They have a 505 run. So five, like literally a five minute speed run. Okay. Should Scourge of the Past be a dungeon, chat? Should it be a dungeon, chat? Fucking no, it shouldn't be a dungeon. Absolutely not. No raid should be a dungeon, that's stupid. That's a dumb, stop. That's a really stupid take. Just make it take longer. If if your, if your criteria for, if some, something is only worthy of being a raid if it takes you 15 minutes to beat it, if you're sweating your ass off and skipping encounters. First off, that's some dumb criteria in my opinion, but that's whatever, that's besides the point. Uh, just make it harder. The same thing with Vault of Glass. You know, I like to complain about how easy Vault of Glass is. Just make it harder. Just add a couple mechanics. It's not that bad, you know? Make it so two people have to stand on plates in Templar, or there's another phase, or something, you know? King's Fall should be a dungeon. Yes, King's Fall is ass, dude. <laughs> That's how you start to really piss people off. No. It's it, my, my point is, is like people come up with like the dumbest criteria for this stuff. It's, it, you know, being a raid has nothing to do with difficulty in my, which I would say mechanical intensity is a, is a better measure, but it's nothing to do with difficulty because every raid is a different difficulty, you know? Just like, bruh, length. You know, maybe number of encounters, sure. Like, say it has to have three encounters or more or something. I don't know. 
But the difference between a dungeon and a raid is purely how many people are in it. And probably like story significance, I would argue that like raids are typically way more, uh, dude, I'm gonna die here because I'm ranting. I don't know. Some people want Vogue to be exactly like it was in D1 for nostalgia purposes. I am telling you right now, I said this in my video and I will stand by this until the day it happens. If Vault of Glass comes back identical to Destiny 1, all these people that you guys have hyped up, all these people who have never played Vault of Glass, and there's a lot of them, who now expect Vault of Glass to be the best raid ever made because everyone's always sucking its dick. And then they're like, oh, ugh, ugh, Vault of Glass is the best. I wish Glass Wish was as good as Vault of Glass. You know? You know? All those people, they've set an unnecessarily high bar for Vault of Glass. And so all these people that have never played it, if it comes back like it was in Destiny 1, they're gonna be like, what the fuck were people talking about? You literally just stand still for half the raid. Which is exactly what you do! It's, that's it, you know? It's like people, you're gonna, you're setting it up for failure. It's like when you're like, you talk up like your favorite show on earth. Like, you know, for me, it'd be like The Walking Dead. And I'd be like, dude, Walking Dead, or well, probably The Boys actually. I don't know, one, it's some show. You know, if I'm talking, this actually happened. I was talking to my friend. He doesn't like superhero shit, like at all. And I was like, look, you should just give The Boys a chance. It's really good. And I, I tried so hard to convince him to watch this show that I set an unnecessarily high bar that even, it was so high that even a show that is as perfect as The Boys couldn't meet my, the expectations that I set. That is what people do with Vault of Glass. It's like not good, it's not, it's, it cannot stand up to that much scrutiny. You guys need to calm down, you're shooting yourself in the foot. All these Vault of Glass stands are gonna make people hate it even more because people are gonna get in there. You know, people like Chevy, you know, Chevy, the world's first solo or Argos, uh, you know, in Redeem, uh, I don't know if Chevy's been on any of the world's first teams. He might, he might have been, I, I don't know. But you know, he's never played Destiny 1, and so he doesn't know what Vault of Glass is like. And so, you know, people are hyping it up, and he's like, oh, I can't wait to try this out. And then he's gonna get in there, you know, one of the, you know, best players in the world, done crazy shit, and he's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? You literally just stand still. You literally, you literally just stand still for the first three encounters. What is this? How do you go from last wish to this? You do, you, you move more distance in the Shirochi fight alone than you do in the first three encounters of all the glass. <laughs> like, come on. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yo, Ridley, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Walking Dead should be a dungeon, worst raid ever, no cap, fair enough. Walking Dead is ass, first seasons were the best. Wrong! Season, 10 was the best with the whispers the 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 final season of the whispers was the best no the first season of the whispers yes that one i think they introduced them in a half season like 10 5 to uh, the end of 11 was the oh wait no fuck i'm an idiot they're on 10 right now they just ended 10 sorry 9 5 to the end of 10 was the best i will not be taking questions at this time whispers are way better than anything else also negan's pretty cool they kind of ruined that story arc in the in the show not even gonna lie I'm a big Negan sim. I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll say it, okay? Kind of ruined it in the show. Stop vlog hate? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. My point, like the main reason I make this argument though is because people are so hypocritical. The same people that love vlog hate on Crota's End and they are plagued by the same problems. They are like some of two of the most closely related raids in terms of difficulty mechanics, overall length, that sort of thing. Uh, out of like any other two raids. Fault the Glass, worst Destiny 2 raid ever? I'm t guys, I'm telling you, I know that's a joke, but it actually worries me. It actually worries me that if they don't change the mechanics, that will actually happen. I have so much faith in Brendan Thorne in the team, like ungodly amounts of faith. Like I, like so much faith. 
I, that just worries me, you know? I don't want them to be like, oh, people are nostalgic, they just want the old version back. Because I don't think it'll do well. And remember, this raid has to last us a half year until the Witch Queen raid. Even longer than a half year. It has to last almost an entire year because Witch Queen got delayed. Presumably, this is the last raid we are getting for a year, right? We'll probably get a dungeon in like season 16 or something. But this is the last raid, presumably. Like I said, maybe not, but almost certainly. No Outriders today. I was going to play, but the servers were acting up uh, earlier. I might play in a bit. Check your last message, Trippy. Uh, you move more when reading in Vault of Glass, in Vault, than in Vault of Glass completely. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good point. <laughs> it would not take this long for a one-to-one -one remake. Uh, well, a they they've already said that they have to like completely rebuild it. So I don't necessarily think that's true. But also, like they don't not release it every season because it takes so long. They do it to space out content, right? Like, if they wanted it ready for this season, I'm sure they could have gotten it ready for this season. But you don't want to release a, a raid two seasons in a row and then not have one for over a year, right? Like, it... it so, even from... This, like, makes sense from, like, a YouTube perspective, too. So there will be some times where I'll have multiple days in a row where I can make a video. Let's say, like, I can make a video for Monday, Tuesday, but then I know I'm busy for the rest of the week. And so I don't release those videos Monday, Tuesday and then have dead space on my channel for the rest of the week because then that, that that looks bad, right? Like there's not really consistency there. So I make two videos, I schedule one for Monday, I schedule one for Thursday. You space it out, right? That is that is almost certainly what they do with raids. It's like, oh, hey, the raid team has to work on dungeons and raids and secret missions and whatever. And it's like, all right, what can we get done when and how do we space it out so people don't get sick of everything? That's almost certainly what they did with Bug. So. I don't know. I, I really hope it's not a one-to-one. -one. Uh, Yo, Outriders feels so much better. I've not got kicked. Go try it out. You've not been kicked for ages. Wait, really? Are you on PC? I'm pretty sure we'll be getting a dungeon in Season 15. Maybe... Uh, maybe. I, I would expect... I'm not really sure if they're... Like, surely they, they have to put, like, a season 16 in between 15 in Witch Queen? Because that's... A, or make season 15 extended or something. Like, there's a really long time now where there's nothing in between. Like, now that Witch Queen's been delayed, like, a significant amount of time. Four months or whatever. Uh, there's time for another season in there. So, almost certainly they'll be doing something there. I would expect a dungeon there maybe or or in season 15 at some point it just kind of makes sense uh because if there's no like end game content in that time and everything's delayed like i know it's kind of a hard hard spot to be in right because it's like they're delaying it because they need more time to work on it but if they need more time to work on it how much time can they allocate and how many how many resources can they allocate to have filler content during that time you know that's a that's a really hard game to play i do not envy upper management having to decide those things because that that's a that's a very difficult decision i'm sure maybe not maybe you know joe blackburn and luke smith got this shit on lock but or i guess uh joe blackburn and um I don't know who the co guy is because they always have two, right? I think did did Luke Smith and uh, Mark Noseworthy both get raises or promotions? So that'd be Joe Blackburn and someone else. Then I don't know who the other one is. Um, I don't envy that decision. Uh, I'm gonna be straight here. I don't think they're gonna be spending the resources on Vogue, and they will use them on Witch Queen. Vogue will be the same. A bunch of relying on nostalgia for success. Man, I really hope not. I that is my fear, but I also very much hope not. Justin Truman. Okay, there you go. Justin Truman. I'll have to commit that name to, to memory. Um, I'm sure that their job's very difficult. Like, having to allocate those resources and stuff. Like, no way. But also... Like... Almost certainly Witch Queen wasn't delayed because of the raid team, right? Like, Brendan Thorne and team... They... I would imagine they have their own kind of... Not not completely separate, but fairly separate timeline schedule. So maybe they are able to get all of their content done 
And because, like, the main expansion... Oh, fuck. The main expansion needs more time, uh, you know, Justin Truman or someone can go to them and be like, hey, you guys are on schedule. We're behind schedule. Do you guys think you could fit in another dungeon or something here? Um... Because you got to think, like, not every team can be behind. I mean, maybe they are, but probably not. Um, I would imagine it's probably, like, the campaign or, or you know, peripheral. Kind of like how with Beyond Light, like, a lot of the Europa stuff, what I believe, was behind. Um, so maybe they can work out something like that. Like, whatever team is, is maybe doing all right and not running into roadblocks, Maybe they can make us a little something to hold us over or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Either way, it'll be awesome, but... Prophecy was actually decent. I love Prophecy. Um, servers are still down for Outriders? Oh, rip. Luke Smith had too much hate focused on him. Unfortunately, that's kind of like... Uh, like When you're a game director or you're the head of a, of a giant project like that, it's not right, and it shouldn't be like this, but that is just... Sorry for that flashing. That's just kind of like part of the job title. It's dumb. Like, people, angry teenagers on the internet need someone that they can focus their hate towards. And it's always going to be the head of the project. Notice how people have no idea what calls Luke, Luke Smith did and did not make, and they have no idea what Luke's opinion was or wasn't on something. But every time something went wrong, they immediately blamed Luke Smith, right? Like, we have... We have no idea the inner workings of Bungie at all. Like, not not even a little bit. And uh, people still were, were so absolutely certain it was Luke Smith's fault. That is called mob mentality and just needing someone to blame. That's that's all that was. I agree. None of it should... Eight to nine runs, no exotics? Fuck. Has it really been that long? Uh, it shouldn't be like that. It's really unfortunate. People are, are gross for, for doing that, but... Unfortunately, it's just something that I, no matter who's in that role, I think they're going to be blamed. You watch uh, Anthony Fantano. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, kind of rage culture. Uh, sort of. I think it's more of like an entitlement thing. <laughs> but it is what it is. I don't know, man. Best exotic synergy, Thorn and Necrotic Rip. That, that is the best Warlock synergy, dude. I wish, I'm, I need to start using that more. That is a fun combo. That's probably one of the best combos in the entire game. Did you watch Snyder Cut or Kong vs. Godzilla? No, I don't have Hulu or HBO Max or whatever. Uh, I plan, we'll probably get like a month of it for when Mortal Kombat comes out and, and watch all three. Then they just blame Telesto instead of Luke. Almost certainly they could have. <laughs> Oh. Your thumbnails are always heat. Thank you. There's a Mortal Kombat coming out? Yeah, in like 20 days. Looks so good. I wish they would rework Worldline. Dude, I completely agree. I, I've made a video on that, actually, where th that's what they should do. Because I completely agree. That's That Worldline skating just needs to be the exotic perk. No one's going to use Worldline for anything else. Make it DPS shit or something. I really don't care. But that's, like, the, the most fair thing I think Bungie could do, honestly. Oh, nice. Uh oh, I'm going to die. Oh, oh now I'm actually going to die. You can already world line with well. Yeah, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be like an exploit. My, uh, that one guy in town. Like, my point is, is that 
we shouldn't have to rely to weird exploits and glitches and using certain character classes and stuff. Like, I get that you can technically still do it. But my point is, is it shouldn't be that hard. You know, it's pretty obvious that it doesn't really hurt the game in any substantial way. Uh, they just should let people do it. And they should, instead of enabling or let, making people break the game, they should just make it easy. Like, it's not, it really doesn't hurt that much, you know? Maybe it would hurt Crucible a little bit. But honestly, if you're flinging yourself into the enemy spawn, who's the idiot? You know, like, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really think that'll work for many people. What's a world line? It's the world line zero, the sword. Why aren't you streaming on Twitch? Uh, Cause I like YouTube better. Pretty, pretty simple, brother. Because uh, YouTube is like the number one visited site on the earth, or to, number two, I think, is it Google and then and then YouTube? So there you go. Okay. Are you farming just that exotic? I'm farming arm exotics. So the Master Nightfall, or Lost Sector rather, gives you a specific piece of exotics that you can farm. So like today it's arms in the Master. And so I'm just farming it until I get Ophidians. Which I actually, I got Ophidians my very first run. They were just ass. Hopefully I get a good roll here. TikTok is not first. <laughs> um, how many Ophidians? Just one. I've only gotten two exotics. Or three. Three exotics from this. It's been a couple runs. We're due one here. Oh, man. What do you need Ophidians for? They're just good exotics. Fuck. Here, one second. One of my lab mates texted me. Oh, man. Alrighty. Um... Yeah, I've, I've got something to do, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to have to end it there for today. But definitely, maybe some Outriders tomorrow. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how the servers are going. But if, if the servers are looking better, definitely more Outriders tomorrow. Uh, I was doing the Ursas. Or, sorry, it's about six minutes average. About six minutes average, uh, Anomaly. Love you too, bud. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and call it there. I've got some teaching stuff I've got to do, unfortunately. Um, but uh, what software do you use for YouTube? I use OBS to stream. I use Filmora Wondershare to make my videos. And I use the program called Paint.net. It's not a website. It's just a weirdly named program. It's open source for my thumbnails. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to call it there. Um, lots of great stuff. Not any great roles, but definitely more farming to be had. No big a deal. And, uh, yeah. So, this is my loadout right here. Laments, Frenzy Bow, Imperial Needle, Sniper with, uh, anti Overload Bow, Anti-Barrier Sniper. Alright, everyone. Well, you guys have a fantastic night. I love your faces. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Peace out, everyone.